Oh my gosh, that took forever. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Some of your destinations have errors. That's why Facebook is having an error. It can't go live. <clears throat> okay, I think we are live on all platforms now. Still? Oh, hey, Chris. Okay, so you are viewing this on Facebook. We were having an issue. So we just took in a Nightmare Before Christmas collection. We were trying to get that ready, so we're a couple minutes late. But then also, I just had something saying there was an error that it wasn't live on Facebook. So I'm glad to see that you're on Facebook watching this. I'm going to give it just another minute here to allow people to jump on. Yeah, that was weird. I don't know why it said error, but it did. So I'm glad that it's working. Happy Saturday afternoon. This is going to be toys and collectibles, Cheyenne. So you're going to get to see all the toys that we have in our store and our collectibles, statues, uh, little trinkets. And it's stuff that obviously we've either had in the store or we just got in this week by a trade or brand new stuff. <clears throat> You're welcome. We did get some new Black Series in this week. Uh, not only via shipment, but also trade-in. So we have a pretty decent selection of brand new. We just took in some yesterday in a collection. Um, we got some new statues in this week. We just took in, like I said, a big uh, Nightmare Before Christmas collection. So if there's some stuff when we get over to that table you guys see that you're interested in, I might need to get you the price because we haven't even gotten it out yet. It's all loose. We do have the packages for it if you do prefer the package, but it all had been displayed from a collection. So we just decided to have it loose right off the bat. So... Like I said, we'll give it a couple more minutes just to allow people in here. <clears throat> What's everybody up to today? Anything amazing? Anything fun? Getting ready for Easter? <sighs> You're looking at the Star Wars wall. Ooh. Oh, that's a baby. You got a gig tonight. What kind of gig? Musician? Are you a musician? You're going to be playing some tunes? Is that what you're going to be doing? Danny's getting all the packaging done. <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't, I didn't show. All right. Let's start over here. 
So if we have Street Fighter fans or Storm Collectibles, we got the Zangief in. Storm Collectibles Zangief from Street Fighter 2. He's $110. So that's what would be new over here. We also got, for Spawn, we got the uh, Saigor in. He's 50. And then we got the She Spawn, which she is 40, I believe, as you can see there. So that's what would be new over here so far. Hi, guys. And remember, super easy to claim something. Just claim the item name. Like I said, with the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff that we are going to get to, if you are interested in something, I may have to get you the price. Because we just took it in. But let's get over here. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> Hi, guys. All right. So here is all of our stuff for Nightmare Before Christmas. Some has been priced. Some has not. If something catches your eye, let me know. So that Nezuko is actually like a paper theater. And I can go back there for you, no problem. One crazy thing is, this piece right here is uber rare. It's $150 for Sally, the mummy, and the tree. So that's a really rare piece there. <laughs> right here? I will get you that. I will get you that. Can you get a price on the Harley Quinn set? Yeah. Yep. Uh, Kelvin, we have the Panthro right now for... And I may have one other one. So, there you go. These paper theater sets are as such. You build them. And it's basically like a 3D model is what it is. So, as you can see right there. Oh, maybe you can't. They're actually really cool, but for what they are, they're they're up there. They're twenty five dollars. But we've got Nezuko, Tanjiro, and uh, I can't remember all their names, unfortunately. But the whiny, the whiny one, and the pig face. I've got those three. <clears throat> all right, let's go over here. Brand new this week, we got in this cute little. Baby Yoda milestones. It's 120. Child in the hover. Fram. 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 There you go. And Kelby, I am getting you that price. For the Harley Quinn one? Oh, wow. Okay. So, Kelby, the Harley Quinn demon set. Loose even is 110. Some of those, they must be like first, I don't know if it'd be first series or what it is, but some of those we noticed are pretty rare. <clears throat> Have a good one, guys. <clears throat> All right. We've got one Voltron left of the Super 7. We got this giant piggy bank of Stitch. So this is my last three zero storm collectible. Or I'm sorry, not storm collectible, it's three zero. Storm Shadow is what I meant to say. Uh he is forty five, Kelvin. That Voltron Super 7 is 45. You got it. I'll get your name on it. Like I said, last one, so that was a good claim. We. Oh my gosh. I'm having a hard time.
All right, I'm going to get Kelvin's name on his Voltron quick. Now, we probably got in the coolest 3-0 toy we have had to date this week. Unbelievable. It is all metal. I'll show you guys in just a minute. We did just get in these two new Demon Slayer statues also. <laughs> hey, Lawrence. And then we did just get in that My Hero statue right there. Look at this. You started a live video and we get crazy busy now. Okay, so we just got in some of these Agent Venoms. They're fifty dollars. Let's see if I got a good side to this. There we go. So you won't get glare. Diamond Select, fifty bucks on the Agent Venom. And then this is the bad boy I was telling you guys about right here. So this is three zeros, Hulk Buster, for two seventy. It's all metal. It lights up. There's a great shot of it. There's a lot of his parts that actually open up or move so he can look like he's actually shooting or, you know, the exhaust. He lights up in the eyes, his chest plate. I believe his hand has the opportunity to light up also. Batteries not included. They're just those tiny little batteries that you put in like a watch. A13s or something they're called. But that thing is absolutely beautiful. Do back with Sand Trooper down there by Beast Kingdom. You got Scorpion. We just got in a couple more of these Weapon X's. So I think we have like two available currently. He is 50. Ah, uh, no, Shan, I'm not familiar with those, unfortunately. After the sale, I'll look at what exactly they carry. So, yeah, there you go. There's Weapon X. And then we have a couple 3-0 Rangers. So we have the White Ranger, and then we also have Lord Dracon. So there are those. Okay, let's go this way. And if you guys need me to go back to anything, just let me know. I'd be happy to. Since we're right here, let's show off those Super 7s. We'll start up here, up top, with the major podcast crew. You got Brian Myers and Matt Cardona. You've got the Good Brothers, Carl Anderson and Doc Gallows. And then we've got a bunch of turtles. We have Casey Jones, Mondo, April, Muckman, and Joe Eyeball. I also have a Donatello available. And Mutagen Man right there. And then we have the Glow in the Dark Toxie. And here's our Thundercats. So we've got Captain Cracker, one of him left. And we have Panthro. So I've got those two available for Thundercats. We have a couple Witcher figures still. So Siri, and then the possessed Geralt, Geralt of Riviera. Chris, I do have a Scorpion knock left. Yes, I do. You got some scooters in case you want to customize. If you got a Squirrel Girl, you need a scooter for. Her. Or if you have just a random figure, you want them riding a scooter. There you go. Hmm. Huh. Sounds good. Appreciate you explaining to me what that is. Let's see what else. Here. Our cabinet, we have some harder to get Marvel figures. The Goblin. You have, I know it's not Spider-Man. trying to think of the name of it now. Jeez Louise. 
the Colossus right there is actually a Marvel Select, where Superior Spider, actually. We have some smaller ones. And then right down here, we have a couple baths, the Colossus and the Mr. Hyde. And then this would have been from the two-pack of, with, what is it, Obadiah? And then back there... Then we have some old school superpowers, not only with their comic, but also their file card or their stat card, basically. Here's some of our selects. And we did just take in a really cool Hulk. It's a San Diego Comic-Con one. We took it in yesterday. Um, I'll show you that here in just a minute. Here's some of our legends. We probably have the most legends you'll find around. I swear we outstock Target and Walmart. Because we don't get picked apart like they do. Got some Strange right there. Got a Miles Morales. And we just got this one in yesterday. This is the harder to find Spider-Man Gamerverse from I think like 2018, I believe. Mm. Can't find the date, but he's 75. We got the Daredevil from the Netflix series. We got Electra there. Which one? Kelvin, which one? All right, what else we got? From the anniversary, we have the Iron Man here. I believe these are 33. I don't have the cap anymore. The Daredevil, you got it. And Kelvin, are you pickup or ship? And if you're pickup, let me know what store. And then we do have the Hulk, and he's 44. So those are the two that we have of the three. And then I should probably, well, I mean, just to let you know, too, Kelvin. I mean, he is 90 bucks. So, just as a heads up, that's why, like I said, if you want them still, let me know. I just want to make sure I didn't show the price on him. Now, here is that Hulk I was talking about. So, this is the San Diego Comic-Con Hulk. And he is 140. I can take him out of the box. I'm not sure if everybody knows what this one looks like or not. Uh, he's, he's a harder to get one. That line, the Punisher, was expensive. Um, so here's that Hulk, the San Diego Comic-Con Hulk. With crushed pipe. I want to say, I think on eBay in the market, he goes for like 110 the Daredevil, but it has a little bit of a damaged box. That's why we have him where he's at. <clears throat> see, we got the old Black Knight. Got some webmans back there. Anybody looking for Marvel Universe? Let's see. Uh, this is actually the Rochester location. If if you need stuff sent up to the Invergrove Heights one, we can always send it up there. So each week we send stuff up there on Wednesdays. And same would be vice versa. If if you needed stuff in Rochester, it would be down here on Wednesday afternoons also. Oh, Ryan, let me get you that. So the Juggernaut is 30 and then we got Green Goblin right behind him. 
So yeah, 30 bucks on the juggernaut. And then I'm going to stay right by here, but in case anybody is interested, we just got these uh, Mando kits in. What's up, Jeff? So these are going to be model kits of the Beskar Armor Mandalorian for 40 bucks. And then we have little mini Razor Crest model kits also. And then we do have a couple model kits left. We sold the bigger one that we just got in this week. Uh, so by Chase, do you mean I've, I heard that they have one that has like a upside down um, abdomen and then it, the cowl kind of looks like a hoodie? Or did you mean this one right here? We have General Zod, and then I know we have a um, Lobo. We have a Lobo one also. So we got this and then Lobo. Zod is 30, and I think Lobo is the same. I just don't know where he's at. But I know we have it. Yep, right here. He's 36. But we got those two. Let's see. Got some turtles. Some loose ones, which would be more vintage with some newer. We got a lot of okay. Anything you guys want me to go back to on that wall? I got wrestling right here. Some loose and then yeah absolutely got some AEW right here Doug you better make it sooner rather than later that was my second one the first Batmobile set sold, and that's I brought the second one out. All right, let's go to our horror area. I'm going to put this down for you here quick. So, oh, you said Zod. I grabbed the wrong one. Let me, Kelvin, I got to grab the Zod for you here. Here we go. You want the Lobo too? Okay, I'm gonna grab that now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can tell me your pizza. So we need to put scope in and then we'll be right in my So I don't know. But I can't have the freedom that You can't have what? When someone like just comes up from smoking and then starts talking to me and just I breathe it in, I get so short of breath. Really? Yeah. Um, well, I guess, Chris, it would depend on what you're looking for. Um, the Hulkbuster literally just came in. Um, if you want to message me after the sale, you can. And we can have open dialogue there. All right, we got some retro figures. My Bloody Valentine, obviously Ghostface, and then Reanimator. We have one left of the Mezco talking Michael Myers. We've got 
some loose living dead dolls. If you're into Migos, we've got some of those too. Chucky, we have Candyman. Um, Pennywise, let's see who else we got. The Human Fly, which is flocked. And then we have some superheroes. We have Joker, Penguin, uh, Superman, the Riddler, Green Lantern, Robin. Might have a Batman sitting back here. No, that's the Flash. Creature from the Black Lagoon. We have the smaller one and then also the 14-inch. A couple Terrifiers from Trick or Treat. These are super cool. For the price point, too, you really can't beat it because this is about the same as what like a sideshow would be. Just cheaper. And then we did take in a bunch of 25th anniversary G.I. Joes that I'm going to show you guys. So really nice little collection. Got that in yesterday. Tyler Ghostface, some Adams Family, and then we just got in this creepy Pennywise statue. Hey, Georgie. $50 on that. Here's our NECA. We have one American Werewolf in London left. We've got a couple Crows. These are going to be our Diamond Selects. We just got these in. Those are... No. All right, and then this is kind of what I was talking about. So we took in a bunch of these G.I. Joe 25th anniversaries. Um, some are the foil cards, some are not. But if there's any of these that anybody is looking for, let me know. And I can even tell you if we have a certain character. Storm Shadow. Snake Eyes right there. Cobra Polar Assault. I think that's another Snake Eyes. Scarlet right there. Another Snake Eyes. Destro. Little yellow bubble on Destro. Uh, let's see. Bats right there. Another Snake Eyes. Shipwreck with a yellow bubble. Storm Shadow. Or no, Firefly, sorry. There's Zartan. Another Snake Eyes. I don't know if anybody's into G.I. Joe's, but we just took those in. A couple model kits right here for Transformers, and then also the Snake Eyes model kit. Got this little Arctic Rescue vehicle set right here with the red glow snake eyes. Pretty cool set. You don't see that everywhere. Um, Power Rangers. So what I'd have for Power Rangers is going to be right over here. We do have some older sets still, some Zords. We're down to, it looks like, four of them, five. So we have the White Tiger Zord, the Legacy Ninja Zord, the Legacy Falcon Zord. You got the Thunder Mega Zord right there, 275. What's up, Jason? And then you have that Japanese version right up top there for 375. So those would be the Zords that we have for Power Rangers. And then we've got some figs too. So if there's certain ones you're looking for, I can definitely check for you. White Ranger there. That's probably a good shot of them. Uh, Brandon, I just actually went by him. Like I said, if there is a, a character you're looking for, I can definitely show you and I can give you a price, but here they are. Really nice collection. Foil cards and some aren't foil. These are the 25th anniversary again. So you got that. Uh... 
What were you? I don't know exactly what you mean by that, Calvin. So, yeah. If there's one you're looking for, Brandon, just let me know. I can definitely show you. Because we have like four pegs worth of these 25th. And then we got a couple more right here, but they're pretty bent up cards, so they're a little cheaper. Masters. <laughs> yeah, they're all here, man. They're all here. And they range, like I said, I know it's a big range, but they range anywhere from 15 to 80 because there was one that was a little more rare. I can't remember which one it was that was 80. But like Zartan, for instance. Great looking bubble, great looking card. Oh, there he is. There's the $80 one right there. Um, I I don't. I have this one right here, but this would be all I have is the White Ranger and the Black Ranger. And he's 35. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I've got like three or four different snake eyes. Um, so there's this one file card or foil card. That's your normal snake eyes. 25 on that one. You got this foil card right here, snake eyes. He's 25. We've got this one with timber. That's 40 non foil. And then there's Arctic. Here we go. No, that's no stupid. There's an Arctic one too. I just can't remember where he was. That's what we got. We have those three snake eyes for sure. So there's that. And again, I can always go back to anything. Um, let's show you guys what's new in Star Wars. So we just got in this General Grievous, still sealed. We got in this Mandalorian with Child, still sealed. I'll get that for you, Brandon. And then the Deluxe Boba. Jeez. So we got those three in. And then we did get the new wave in, but we sold them all but the client. Danny, do we still have the Death, Stra the Death Watch Trooper back there? Is there one more figure back there for Star Wars, the Death Watch Trooper? We also got in Panda Baba. And then we got in this Mace Windu. And then we also got in that Tuscan Raider right there. So that's what would be new this week for our Star Wars. Anybody's looking for Star Wars? Okay, I grabbed the Timber one for you. I'll put your name on that really quick, and then we can go to the cases so you guys can see what we have in there and then when i'm done with the cases is there anything you guys want me to go back to to show you i mean you show the rest of the jacks now can i figure out oh perfect we can go back there no i think I think the White Vader you're, you're talking about, Jason, is we have that up for pre-order right now. That one is just announced for pre-order. If it's the one I'm thinking, which I'm pretty sure it is. 
that's up for pre-order on our website right now. That's nerdingout.com. You can go there, pre-order it, and then we'll ship it right to you. Here's a rare CM Punk figure, actually. If you look, they're trying to sell them on eBay right now for three to four hundred. We have them at two eighty. And then we've got this Zack Ryder down here, still sealed one ten. So we've got those two up here. They're a little more expensive. And then we got in this Zoiberg. This is the Toy Fair exclusive, the blue one, because there's a red and a blue. And he is 180. And then we have carded bushwhackers right there. 125. Got some vintage He Man. Blade right there. All right, I'll go back up over here quick to show you guys these figures one more time. So here's the Nightmare Before Christmas ones. We just got these in. Hey folks, doing today? Good. Now, is there anything else I could go back to for you guys at all? Anything you'd want to see? Blood splatter. Blood splatter. Uh, no, no. You'd have to message us. Because we don't even have prices on them, but some of them are as high as like 150. So, yeah, absolutely, Sam. There's some rare ones on that table. So here you go, Sam. And Sam, I think I do still have an Iron Man here for you. We'll get that invoice out to you. I think that slipped through the cracks I saw it on the shelf. But there's the markdown table right here. And then, of course, we have the fun area. So, so we got some big clips here for seven bucks a piece. We got My Hero, two different types of Star Wars. You have Clone Wars, and I believe Return of the Jedi. And then What If, Thrills and Chills, and Masters of the Universe. Seven dollars on any of those. And if you're stressed out, get yourself a squishy stress reliever Godzilla. All right. Anything that I could go back to for any of you? I could go back to statues, Marvel Legends, Star Wars, anything you might have missed. Please let me know at this time. Otherwise, I will sign off. So I'll give it just a minute here for you guys to let me know if you'd like me to go back to anything. One final call. Anything else I could go back to for anybody? Or I guess I could see if anybody's into sports cards. We have some sports cards in our case still. Uh, Kelvin, if you're going to pick up an Invergrove Heights, I don't. I'll have those up there for you Wednesday. So, no, I don't have any Stratlander. No. 
not familiar with him. Because what we'll do, Kelvin, is we'll just send it up to Invergrove Heights, and then you can go pick up at that store if you'd like, unless you want it shipped to you. Okay. All right, all. With that, I'm going to sign off. Hope you all have a great Saturday. And if there's anything else I can do, let me know. And go ahead and give us your feedback if you like the Saturday afternoon sale or not. Because we can always try to figure something out if we need to make it another day, okay? So go ahead, give me your feedback. Let me know. Uh, you can even put in the comments. I'll go comments. I'll go back into the sale here and read the comments, okay? So let me know if you guys like the Saturday afternoon or if you'd like to change it to a different day. Hope you guys have an amazing day. Have a good weekend. Have a great Easter.